This is day one of my new Midori cover. This is the leather goatskin cover in B6 Slim. I put this piece of elastic around it just to keep it closed. I do appreciate having that. And maybe in the future, I'll poke a hole through the leather. But right now, I'd rather just see how I feel about this cover first. It's really beautiful, super minimal. It has little card pockets in the front and the back and a small pen loop. The thing that I really like about this pen loop is that it can be tucked away really easily, minimally, when not being used. But I do appreciate having a pen loop often. Most of the pens that I have are way too fat for this pen loop, however. So at the moment, I have packed inside the loop a Rotring 600. I can't wait to see how this journal cover patinas and wears and darkens with time. Its first three days with me have been on a camping trip. And so this is some of the new wear that has occurred. Not much else otherwise. The pen loop is definitely stretching out a little bit now. Okay, it has been a full week with this cover now, and I think it has darkened just a little bit. It's difficult to tell when I don't have a side-by-side -side comparison, but I do think it's a little bit darker than the day it first came to me. Not much else to report. I think the typical wear and scuffs and markings are starting to appear. I'm about halfway through my journal now, maybe more than halfway. Really enjoying the Midori and the B6 Slim size, by the way. And also really enjoying this pencil. I have discovered that it is the perfect unit for writing because I can hold a bunch of extra lead inside the body and an extra eraser, which is just amazing. It's a funny thing. I have experimented with so many different writing tools over the years, my whole life, really. Uh, and this is actually quite perfect. How to mature vegetable tanned leather. Because of its bare condition, stains on the cover will be easily noticed when you start to use it. It is recommended to expose the cover to sunlight at a window with plenty of sunlight before use. In two or three weeks, the color will gradually change to beige and then amber. During this process, a protective coating is formed on the surface, which provides resistance to stains or a certain degree of moisture. The longer it is used, the deeper the shade will become. All right, it's time for another check-in. It's February 27th. We just got back from a week-long camping trip so this journal definitely got some sun and new stains and marks. We got snow and rain on this trip and sunshine as well. And so it just kind of was put through the ringer. I think it's looking really beautiful. I'm also almost done with my journal now. We are soon to be at the end. I will be moving into another Midori. I really like this size and this notebook and this setup. One thing that is happening, which is a little bit of a disappointment, is that the pen loop here is ripping right along the seam, which is really strange. Uh, I guess it's not that strange because it's under a lot of pressure and this rotring clip is rather secured on there. And so I actually have to lift up the clip to remove it. But I think that Regardless, it, it, it puts a lot of pressure on this seam here. But still, uh, that's surprising for leather to behave in such a way. So unexpected. I'll probably have to replace this at some point and basically just sew in a new pen loop into this little space. I'll have to remove the stitching a little bit so that I can tie it off on both ends and then put in new stitching and a new pen loop. 
uh, which is a little bit of a disappointment, but overall, I'm still really happy with this journal. I'm, I'm just enjoying the setup quite a bit. I'm enjoying the simplicity of it all, and just, it's nice. I, I haven't... <laughs> I haven't been thinking about the tools to write with. I haven't been thinking about the paper to write in. I haven't been thinking about journal covers. It's just been really nice to just journal and find peace and contentment. And I'm excited to continue to use this cover. I, I have big goals, ambitions to use this for a very, very long time. And uh, so, We'll see. We'll see how it ages. Today is March 4th, the day that I move into a new journal, and also the day of my grandma's memorial service. And I spent a lot of time this morning reflecting on my life with her and who she was as a person. And I realized as I look around my house, I am surrounded by things that she gifted me throughout my life. These little things that show that she was thinking of me that she loved me, that she cared. Recently in my journals, I have been incorporating my planner. So I have been doing two months at a time since that's about how long it takes me to work through a journal. And so I'm setting this new journal up with the months of March and April. It was a good quiet morning for reflection to say goodbye to my grandma, to say goodbye to volume number 65 and hello to volume number 66. Hello everyone, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video rather unceremoniously, but I've just really, I've been enjoying this so much. This has been a very wonderful reprieve, a, it feels like a respite, a, a break from obsessing about the writing utensils that one needs or the writing tools that one needs to journal. Uh, I've, you know, I've talked about this a lot on my channel, it's a part of the cycle to create a space where journaling feels comfortable and safe and inspiring, uh, but sometimes that can be this vicious cycle, this endless search for the perfect thing, and so when you find that thing, it's really wonderful, even if it is temporary. So anyways, all that to say, I have really enjoyed the Midori cover, the size of the B6 Slim, it is still continuing to darken, so I'll probably do an update in the future. The pen loop has officially broken, so I've just tucked it away. I do miss having a pen loop, but I haven't mustered up the courage to modify this yet, just because I like this notebook so much and I'm worried that I'll mess it up in some way. So anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.
Oh, and I forgot, if you're still here, this is how I archived my completed Midori journal. So I put a piece of paper around it and then put the date on the cover and the volume on the spine. And that will just sit on my bookshelf.